Bit of a tangle up there. All right, first quarter to be underway here. The finals are finally upon us. Colac Local Footy FM, thanks to Colac Boot Camp, and we're underway. It's Jake Cooper in the ruck, wins the tap out, comes out to Larkham. Larkham gets the hand pass out. Martin White on ground level, tries to get the hand pass up, and our player will come in and ball it up again. Secondary stoppage. Could almost have predicted that in a final. Polar Bay yet the score. Marnie's transport scoreboard kick out wasn't a good one, but uh, Martin White gets it right, just still inside their defensive 50, his kick went straight to Russell Whiteford he started pretty good, gets it over the top to Finnegan, Finnegan from about 45 metres out, snaps a goal first straight shoot a goal of the day goes to Tyson Finnegan and they have started on fire at the moment, the Colac Imperials, looking good 1-1-7 plays yet to score, Imps on the board, two minutes gone, first quarter Spider, come to play mate haven't they, come to play Sheets hand pass wasn't a good one to Jenkins, back Larkham as well is there, Smith picks it up, it comes out to McKay, he's tackled, sorry it's Tillac, he's tackled as well, comes out to Martin White, spills out Hickey off the ground, it's going to come out to Sean O'Neill, 60 out, he bombs it long, there's a guy in the goal square but I think it's going to be a downfield free kick, it's going to be a downfield free kick, Russell White will have a shot in the goal square and he should kick a goal, a bit of retaliation on the Ford 50 but it's got to be where the ball ends up doesn't it? And Wyford comes in and kicks a goal. So he gets a straight shoot of goal of the day. And the Imperials jump Polo Bay early. Ten minutes gone, first quarter. It's 2-2-14. The Imps on the Marnie's transport scoreboard. Polo Bay get the score. Yeah. Spills out on ground level now. Chancey for the Bay. He's got to play a loose. And then it's Hahn. Hahn's going to quickly play on. He takes a bounce. And he's gone on the other side. He kicks to go half four now. Chancey for Adrian Hart. Couldn't take the mark. Spills out now. Oh, he does. picks it up beautifully. Kicks it inside the Ford 50 and finds a target. And it's Fallow who takes the mark. Great work there. All by himself inside 50 for Apollo Bay. And he'll have a shot about uh, 40 metres out, 45 degree angle. And uh, he should make the distance here, Spy. Should get yep. the Bay's first score on the board. It's all about accuracy now. Yeah, well that, that's it, mate. You know, go back, kick the goal. Slot it. And this, will, this will hurt if he kicks it. It really will. I know it's only the first goal. Tommy but... Fellow comes in. It's more. He does make the distance. It's a straight shoot of goal today. And the Bay get their first goal for the afternoon. One straight six. Colac Imperials. Uh, 2 4 16. Marnie's transport scoreboard. Well, for, uh, it was Hose. Hose kick wasn't a good one. Laurie Clark mops up in the middle of the ground. He kicks. Looking for McKay. Couldn't take the mark. Has a bit of time here. Gets out of a tackle. Hand passes the Cass. Cass couldn't get out of it clearly. He gets it over the top of Tillac. And Tillac kicks a goal. Joy Tillac gets the Imperials' third goal for the afternoon. Good build up from the corridor. And uh, good teamwork there as well from the Imperials. Just good. Pressure, Maxi. Yeah, exactly. 3 7 25, the Imps. Apollo Bay 1 straight 6. And it was a straight shot of goal today to the skipper of the Imperials, Jai Tillak. He's been pretty good today. Spills out now looking for Alexander Hahn. Gets out of one tackle. He kicks. I think it's looking for his little brother in Adrian Hahn. He directs where he wants to go. He wants to go inside Ford 50. Beautifully laced out kick. And finds Fallow, I think he's got the mark. He's the only goal kicker at the moment for the Bay this afternoon. Quickly plays on, 45 metres out from goal. It's going high. It's a straight to the goal today. He snagged his second. And the Bay have got two straight 12 on the Marnie Transport scoreboard. Collar Imperials 4, 12, 36. 13 minutes gone, second quarter. Spot, I hate to uh, jump in. It was uh, a very crucial goal. Actually, it wasn't Thomas Fellow. He's on the bench. Well, it wasn't him. Who <laughs> was it? Darcy Wright, I think it was, actually. So he kicks his first goal. So good play there by the young start from me, Apollo Bay. Stuffy paperwork up. Sorry, boys. Sorry. Yeah. They just all look alike. All right, so two straight 12, <laughs> Apollo Bay. 4 12 36, 13 and a half minutes gone, second quarter. Tillak and Wright's running for it, comes out to Condon, he picks up the football now, he kicks to half forward looking for Smith, Smith picks it up, 60 out, he kicks looking for uh, a teammate in Casbolt, Simon Scott's there as well, one on one there, it spills out now to Hahn, picks up, here was Hahn, snap around the body, he kicks a goal! Adrian Hahn kicks his first straight shoot of goal today, Apollo Bay get two goals in a row, 15 and a half minutes gone in this second quarter, three straight 18 the Bay, Colac Imperials 4 12 36, 15 and a half minutes gone. That's the first time the Bay have gone from one end to the other without the Imps touching the football and they've got a score. Yeah. Cool. But they've kicked the last couple now, and to say, you know, the, the misses could really come back to uh, 
to bite uh, <laughs> bite the hams, mate. Let's be yeah, let's be serious about it. Goes underneath his legs. Maddock takes the uh, takes the bar. Oh, takes the ball. Gets it over top. But his wife it that just keeps coming through. He gets the football now. He kicks it inside the Ford 50. Wasn't really to anyone. It was into Hope. Tim Scott though picks up the football now. Hand passes to Tom O'Neill. Kick a dribbler. Bouncing, bouncing for goal. Oh! And he snagged it. <laughs> Straight to the goal of the day, Tom O'Neill. He kicks his first, and they get the reply from Apollo Bay's two goals. 5 12 42, the Imps. Apollo Bay 3 straight 18. 17 and a half minutes gone, second quarter, but that was one there by Russell Whiteford. He just never gave up, just read it second beautifully. Third just, efforts, mate. Yeah, just ran through the pack and uh, busted an intercepted pass and uh, kicked it inside 50. And uh, they may play of it very, very well. Good stuff to the Imps. Can't, the keep, the set, can't keep the set shots, but we, can, we know the party tricks in the pocket <laughs> are easy enough for you. But look at it. Ball thrown back into play. Scott wins a tap out to Roberts. Roberts now. He kicks it high out of defence. Looking for Whiteford. Maddox, but good, good mark there by Whiteford. Starting to really come into this game. Larkin back to Whiteford. Whiteford now kicks. Looking for a teammate at half forward. Good mark there was by Paddy O'Neill. Paddy O'Neill quickly plays on. He kicks inside the forward 50. Looking for Timmy Scott. Couldn't take the mark. Comes down to ground level now. Condon, can he pick it up? Comes out down to Tom O'Neill. To Drezice. Drezice kicks the goal. Quick hands with immense there by the Colac Imperials. And they've gone bang, bang in the last couple of minutes with a couple of quick goals. 6-12-48, the Imps, Apollo Bay, three straight 18. Almost into red time in about five seconds. Marcus Larkham kicks it inside the Ford 50. Sheets is there, comes out on ground level. McKay gets out of one tackle, gets the hand pass over the top now. Tillak is there, it spills out to Finn. Finn gets out of one, gets out of two, has a shot for goal, and he's got it! Great work there by Brandon Finn. He kicked a straight shooter goal of the day. And they now go to 7 12 54. The Imps, Apollo Bay 3 straight 18, 24 minutes gone this second quarter. And this is the Colic Imperials of the first half of the season, Spider. They Absolutely. were playing this fantastic brand of football. And uh, it's come when they defeated the Lawn as well. So good signs at the moment for the Imperials. They're playing really good footy, mate. Just keep pushing it forward through pressure. And then, you know, through weighted numbers, they've, they've, well, they've finally put them through now. That's yeah. a big difference, too. Still 19 scoring shots to three. Kick 4 2 this quarter rather than the 3 yeah. 10. You know, That's a lot of work for the Bay to get back into this one. His kick was a good one and finds Lee Hickey up the field now. There's a good matchup there. Him and uh, Adrian Murray. Hickey now kicks inbound. Oh, well it's not a good one. Good work there by Tillack. Punches it and goes to Cole to Trezice. Hand passes back to Cole. Cole's hand passes to McKay. 50 metres out. Kicks a high one. Had a bit more time, but he's going to find Tom O'Neill, Paddy O'Neill in the goal square. And Paddy O'Neill should go back and kick his first goal for the afternoon. Just great work by Jai Tillack then. Yep. Just you know, cutting the contest, punched it back to the team's advantage the way they went. I think Tom McKay's having a shot there too. We can't give him that one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. You reckon? <laughs> yeah, I think so. He's a smart footballer. Yeah, I know that, mate. Yeah. All right, Paddy O'Neill comes in, stabs it, but he kicks a goal. And the margin now goes out to 50 points. It's 51 points, actually. 9-15, 69. The Colac Imperials, Apollo Bay, three straight 18. Eight and a half minutes gone in this third quarter. And uh, this is now becoming a fizzer. It's long. Over the top to Smith. Smith now gets it out of their half-back flank area. It's going to be dribbling. Is it going to go out of bounds? No, it's going to be still in play. Murray picks up the football now. Bit of time and a bit of poise. He kicks over the top down at centre wing. Can be picked up here again. Chance here to go forward. Big kick there by Tim Scott. He goes for the barrel again. That's about 80 metre kick. It's going to roll through. <laughs> 80 or 90 metres. Have a guess, Spotter. Oh, I'd probably go 75. Oh, boy, what a goal. <laughs> Straight should have goal of the day by Tim E. Scott. And uh, he went for the barrel with the shot for goal 55 metres out. And he did it 75 metres out there. Unbelievable goal. Straight to the goal of the day. And the Imps are home. They'll be facing Law next week <laughs> for a spot in the 2013 Grand Final. 10-16-76, the Imps. Apollo Bay 3 straight, 18. And how about that to just get the crowd a bit vocal again? Uh, apart from Andrew's boots, you know, you show set the Scott boys with yeah. anything flashy. But that was unbelievable, mate. <laughs> For 59 points Young, young Stephen Kest uh, just letting Jeremy <laughs> Ellis know all about life. Just Andrew support. Scott right on the boundary. Read it beautifully there was Cooper. Could have taken the mark. Tillack kicks it off mid-air and kicks a soccer goal. And the skipper kicks his second goal. And they now go to 11-17-83 on the Marnie's Transport scoreboard. The Imps Apollo made three straight 18, 19 minutes gone in this third quarter. I remember we came to a game, was it against uh, uh, Western Eagles here? 
Blockbuster yep. situation. Both yep. sides undefeated, and uh, the Imperials came to play that day. So they go hot in the day, wasn't it? And it just seems like they've come out with that same attitude again today. Or it <laughs> goes over the top now. This is Andrew again, but that spills out now to Morgan. Again. Kicks inside the forward 50, and a good mark there by Tim Scott. It's all coming together at the moment now for the Imps, and they're building some pretty good confidence uh, heading towards a big game against Long next, next week. Only one of us in the box tipped the Imps versus Lawn grand final, boys. Did they? Who was that? was Drew Boy, wasn't it? Yeah, was no, it was AJ. It was AJ. Put AJ. his hand up. Yeah, look at work on claiming it. Straight away. Tim Scott comes in. He can kick one from 75, and he can kick one from 40 metres out. He kicks a straight shot of goal at a 12, 17, 89 to Apollo Bay. Three straight, 18. The margin now, 71 points. AJ? <laughs> Ball comes out now. This is uh, Scott kicks it to Josias. He can use anything I say, Benny. In my permission, comes out to Finnegan. Finnegan now kicks very, very high, looking for Paddy O'Neill. It's going to be a downfield free kick. You just feel the bay now, Locked just a little bit under disciplined now, isn't it? Getting a bit frustrated. Well, nothing stupid and get yourself rubbed out for next week. Yeah, they need to also continue to play well, Apollo Bay. Like next week, big game, and they could run into a form side. The Western Eagles and South Colac have got some form behind him. Paddy O'Neill right has a shot kick. for goal, and that is a straight to the goal at A from 40 metres out off the one step. It kicks a goal, and all of a sudden they couldn't get one early in the game. 3 10 in the first quarter, and they're now three goals, 17 95. Apollo Bay, three straight, 18. 30 scoring shots to three. 6 4 they've kicked this quarter, too, mate. So. Unbelievable. And uh, the spread of goal kickers, two boys. You know, Tyson Finnegan, three goals. Tim Scott, Paddy O'Neill, Jai Tillak, two goals. And then you got Finn, O'Neill, Whitefoot. Trezice and uh, yeah, all single goal kickers. It's a bit of a scrap if this rain gets a bit heavy. Scott, Tim Scott gets it over top to Laurie Clark. He kicks it in oh, just outside the 450 for uh, Tim Scott. Spills out now. Chance here for the the Bay. Hand passes over top to Andrew. Andrew goes over the top now. Chance here for Alice to kick inside the 450. He does. He kicks looking for Casbolt. Casbolt takes the mark. First inside 50. For a shot for uh, Nick Casbolt, his first, I reckon his first touch. It's Is it AJ? Have to be. Oh, he's had a hand. I know he's had at least one handball. Yeah, <laughs> three handballs. Three handballs to yes. Nick Casbolt. Come in for a shot for goal. He kicks it, a stab kick, but he's kicked the goal. Kick. Straight shot of goal at eight. Nicky Casbolt kicks a goal. Here they come, Spider. 73 points down. Yeah, right here. You never know. Four yeah. straight, 24 Apollo Bay, 13, 19, 97. The Imperials. Like just a real and hope. Tim Scott puts in the body. Comes out now to uh, Condon. Comes, spills out now again to Tim Scott. It's pretty ugly football at the moment. Kyle Roberts picks it up. He's tackled, but it's been stolen there by Darcy Wright. Nice little stab kick. It found Fallow, oh, but he couldn't the take head. the mark. Andrew Scott there at half back. He leaves it to Laurie Clark, who couldn't pick it up. This is Alexander Hahn now. He backs himself to Little Bulldog. Kicks it from 45 metres out. And this should bounce in the goal square and goes through for a goal. Good back up there by Alexander Hahn, and he's kicked a goal, straight shooter goal of the day. Five straight, 30 to 13, 19, 97, 67 points to the margin. They've kicked two goals to nothing this quarter. Ten minutes gone, final term. Momentum. Good mark there by Hose, and there's a siren. It's finished, it's done. It was about done about quarter time today. 13, 20, 98, Colac Imperials to Apollo Bay, 5-5, 35 on the Marnie's Transport scoreboard. Tyson Finnegan, three goals. Tim Scott, Paddy O'Neill, and Jai Tillak with two goals each for, for the uh, Imps. And single goal kickers for Apollo Bay, uh, Tommy Fallow, Darcy Wright, Adrian Hahn, Alexander Hahn, and Nick Kasbop, single goal kickers there. 63-point 63, 63 margin there by the Colac Imperials. Uh,